Hi, I'm Jesus. Today I will show you how to set up your DVR for remote view. All you need is your DVR, a network cable or CAT5 cable, and your router. Now I will show you how to connect it to the back of it. You get your CAT5 cable. and connect it into the back of the DVR. Then the other side, you get your router and connect it into any of the ports. And that's how you connect it. Now, in your DVR, simply right-click on the screen, go into Main Menu. If it asks you for a username and password, the username is Admin, and the password is 123456. This is the default username and password of this DVR. Go under Configuration, then you click on Network. Under Network Base, make sure you enable DHCP. This will allow the DVR to automatically obtain an IP address from your network. Once it's checked, click Apply, and then go under Network State to see if the DVR obtained an IP. If it did, copy the IP address and also the gateway. The gateway IP is the IP address of your router, and we will access the router in a second. Now, you're going to click where it says Advanced and multicast. Under multicast, copy the ports that you see in TCP, HTTP, and UDP. These are the ports we're gonna use to do port forward in your router. Once you copy these three ports, simply click OK, OK, exit the menu, and now we're gonna access your router. But before that, have the user manual of your router and refer to the port forward section. The reason why you need your manual is because not all routers have the same user interface. Now that you have your manual on the port forward section, let's begin. Open any browser and you will type the default gateway that you copied from the DVR. It's going to ask you for a username and password. This is the username and password of the router. It is not your Wi-Fi password. Go to the port forward section depending on your router. And we're going to create custom service. On this router, I need to add a custom service. The name, you could name it anything. The ports is the ports that you copy from the DVR. One of them was 80. The IP is the IP address also that you copy from the DVR. You apply it and we need to add another custom rule. These are the other two ports that you saw on the DVR. Once you apply it, we need to check if the ports are open. Go to this website, canyouseeme.org. In this website, it will show you your IP address and what port. On this port, type the ports of the DVR. One of them was 80. If you see success, the port is successfully open. Let's try 8000. Success. Now you can copy your IP, open any browser, and paste it in the browser and you will access the DVR user interface. Let's try that. If you get the DVR interface, you have successfully set up your DVR for remote view. Simply type the username and password and log in.